Like a townie, trying to look like a feral. Townies don't wear antique gypsy belts. That's pretty cool, actually. It's grand. She's going to give it to me for my 18th birthday. You and Snobs can come to my party. Don't know where we'll be in seven years. Don't know where we'll be next year, even. Well, maybe you won't be here long enough for breakfast, even. Oi, Snobs! You know, if a dog's greedy, makes him easier to train. Well, he's always got an incentive. Hi, I'm Bill Bembridge, and this is Safi. Introduce yourself. Hi, Safi. What can we do for you, Mr. Bembridge? Bill. When? And this is my granddaughter, Abby, and Marion Freeman, who owns Snobs. You're not brother and sister, then? I thought the belt and the gypsy outfits. Uh. I saw Snob surfing this morning. Look, I know you're not meant to have dogs on the beach. Oh, it's a stupid rule, if you ask me. I had my own dogs down there this morning, too. You did? I run a show called Power Performing Dogs. Yeah, I saw that program on TV. The dogs do tricks and stuff. <sighs> I thought you were here to bust me. Hardly. I'm here to see what your dog can do on dry land. Oh, anything you want. Well, how do you and Snobs feel about calling into our rehearsal this afternoon and doing an audition for our troupe. <laughs> you know, Bill said he was a lot like me when he was a kid with his first dog. I heard him. What's that smell? It's a sticky, crunchy, peanut butter, brownie, fudgy sort of thingy. Looks like something you stepped in. It's fantastic. Try it. Mm. Shoe polish. Oh, nick off. I was going to sell it at the dog show that starts tomorrow. Power performing dogs. Bill the owner's going to audition Snobs. This Arvo. No way. Freeman's honour. Snobs will show him he's a star, won't you, boy? Better try some then, Snobs. Might be better as dog food, Spike. Our first school magazine, it's ruined. Book totally hacked my article, Kids Can Recycle, and cut out my interview with the homeless guy. Even my crossword's gone. I spent hours on that, and all for what? A joke page and an article on supermodels. Brooke had almost all my stuff, too. Not that it's nearly as good as yours. Thanks. What are you doing? What's on special at the cafe? Dad gets me to deliver them, but I don't reckon anyone reads them. Maybe they would if there was something interesting to read. On this side? Yeah, like what's on in town this week, or whether someone interesting is coming. Yeah, maybe you could write it, and I could help. Writing's not really my strong point. Carla, your dad won't let Pharaohs into his cafe, let alone touch his advertising, or his computer. Unless, of course, you don't look like a feral. Why would I let some little girl write on my advertising mail? She's a fantastic writer. Mr Alexander said she could be a famous author when she grows up. She doesn't speak for herself, this genius. Only writes, huh? She's shy. Let her write one article, Dad. And if you like it, we can put it on the back of the flyers I'm delivering tomorrow. He'll want to see what you write. We can do it. Brilliant. So what's our first assignment? Let's go, Kevin. Up. A good boy. Over. That's it. Tunnel. Tunnel, Kevin. Back. Back, Kevin. Up. That's it. Over. Over, Kevin. Now we. This is going to be a great story. Weave. That's it, Kevin. Tunnel. And. Woo! Be set. Go. That's it. Over. Over, Sam. Tunnel. Back. Good girl. Up. Up, Sam. That's it. Over. Good girl, now weave. 
yes, yes. Babe, good girl, tunnel. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Barry and I always put these guys back in their luxury trailer, the van, and you and Snobs are on. He's going to see Marion's dog. No way. His mutt can do stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, nice one, Marion. Oh, go, Snobs! <laughs> go, Snobs! <laughs> so cute. Snobs. Now, how well will he work with other dogs and will he take direction from me? Snobs, I want you to do whatever Bill tells you, okay? Okay, Snobs. <laughs> Up the ramp. Up the ramp, fella. Okay, let's start easy, fella. Snobs, come. Dog, dog. He mostly does stuff for me. Maybe if Don't I... Don't I always carry a packet of liver treats. Works every... ...time. I don't seem to have any. Spike's got some dog treats. Come on, Spike, we're desperate. It's really for people. I was going to ask if I could sell them at the show, but... Here you go. OK, Snobs. Up the ramp. And down. Hey! <laughs> A perfect team. Well done, Snobs. Dogs like Snobs and Saffy are rare, but so are young trainers like you, Marion. Saffy? You're a sugar maniac. <laughs> Bill wants to train me as a junior dog trainer and handler. First, he teaches me and Snobs one day a week and after school. We go on the tools with Bill on the weekend and don't earn anything till we're fully trained. Sounds mind blowing. Sounds like a load of old dog do. So, you pay your own expenses till you're trained, you find your own transport to Bill's place out at Arcadia, and you get permission to miss school. Aren't you happy for snobs and me? Of course we are, son. Where's but... the extra money for all this going to come from? I'll get a part time job. With a schedule like Bill's suggesting, you won't have time to pee. Maybe we could pawn something. There's something we don't need for a while. Sure, pots and pans and bedding. Bill said this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for snobs. He wants to talk to all of us about it tomorrow. Get our answer. I've got to keep up with my schoolwork so I can get Mr Alexander's permission to take time off school and find most of the money. Hey, maybe Spike can lend me the money he makes off his toffee thingy. Doubt that'll be much. You're not being very helpful. There's nothing I can do. Well, there's no way Mum would let me loan you the money. I'm desperate. This is Snobs' big chance in life. Maybe another chance will come up later when you have got money. You've got no idea what it's like to really want something. You townies are so spoiled. You get everything. Music lessons, riding lessons, ponies. You've got no idea. <laughs> hey, come back here, you mongrel! <laughs> what if he ends up on TV? <laughs> yeah, Snobs, the loser dog. Enough to make me spew. No, Sappy, you sugar guts. His whistle doesn't work. It's one of those dog whistles, moron. Dogs can hear it, but it's too high for humans. Hey, I got an idea. Come on. Hey, Mr. Bembridge. Bill, huh? Got a sec? If you're real quick. Oh, my name's Ryan, this is Sam. My dad owns a kennel and I've got a dog. Uh-huh. He does tricks, fabulous tricks. Doesn't he, Sam? In, Sam. <laughs> Let me guess. You want me to audition him? How'd you know? I'd like a dollar for everyone who asks. All right. Tomorrow, 4.15, two minutes only. Got a camera crew coming down to do a story on us. Great. See you tomorrow. Right. Wow. Ryan, what are you thinking? Training some mutt. Marion can do it. How hard can it be? 
Here we go, Borax. Why is he the best dog to train? He's the only one who doesn't bark at me. Okay, Borax. Sit. No! He's the best. I'd hate to see the worst. You know, Marion said I'm a spoiled townie. And everything was bill, bill, bill. Plus, Marion doesn't even carry when I have time for anything else. I like spending time with you. He's just excited that he and Snobs are finally recognised for something they're good at. It's more than that. Abby, Marion is a traveller kid. They can't always afford to get too attached to friends outside their community. But we're best friends. Or we were. Abby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Got the right dog? Look! Come on, boy. Forget it. Go on, no one's watching. Like this, okay? Now, you try it. Borax, up the ramp. Ah. You sleep over. I don't care what Mum says. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. What is it? What's out there? You're all right. What was that crash? Abby, where's your softball bat? Gran, why do you want to play softball? No, no. There's no sign of forced entry. Well, the only thing missing is an antique silver belt set with gemstones. Well, yes, it is rather precious, I'm afraid. All right, thank you. Good night. Gran, I'm so sorry. I meant to put it back in your wardrobe. It's just bad luck that you left it out the only time I have ever been burgled. Well, Constable Stubbs want us all to give a statement tomorrow? Undoubtedly, Charlie. So let's get back to bed quickly so that your forensic faculties will be nice and fresh. You're gonna be in trouble. What's a picture of this feral doing on here? He's part of the show. Him? <laughs> This dog show sounds good. It'll be good publicity, Dad. Yeah, all right. Worth a try. So next, Dad and Bill come to school to get the permission forms. Then we sign the contract and it's done. So have you got a pain in your guts? Well, well you're not acting very thrilled. I kind of had a fight with Abby. Oh, OK. So how are you going to pay for it? Local dog and boy to be stars. Congratulations, snobs, Marion. Well-written article, Pierre, although a tad hyperbolic. He's locked into position. But you get some air at night. Well, there's no way anyone can get in there. Anyone else have a key? We keep a spare one somewhere? Top of the white pole. I'll show you. He made us leave for school. He'll never be ready. Borax is slower than a slug. Oh, he'll be okay. Hey, cop that. 
This key's been used in the last day or two. You can tell by the dust disturbance. Oh, we haven't used it for months. Guess what? We've been burgled. It was Marion. We saw him yesterday letting himself in, eh, Sam? Yeah, and was acting all sneaky and everything. Does Marion know where we keep the key, Abby? Yes, but Marion would never steal. I bet that's who you saw last night out the window, too. Marion. I didn't see any people at all. Well, what did you see, Abby? Snobs. Marion's dog in a crummy dog show. Hardly Hollywood or even worth the paper. Is Marion around here? He's in the classroom with Miss Alexander and Toba. And Bill, why? Constable Stubbs said not to spread rumours, OK? And Snobs is always running around by himself. It doesn't prove Marion was there last night. Well, it was in the day. Oh, burgled at Grand's. Yeah, by Marion. And he stole their Grand's antique belt. Real jewels. I said I only went in to write a note. No chance you borrowed the belt in the afternoon, not realising how valuable it was, and later last night thought maybe you'd return it? Incredible. Let's blame the ferals every time. No, I'm sure that's not what this is about. Mr Freeman, it's my job to talk to anyone, regardless who has means, opportunity and motive. Motive? Mrs Wilson told me Marion needs extra money to pay for the expenses with his dog training. What? Abby told her that? Marion, I... I'm sorry, I can't have... I rely on the sponsorship of the local communities we play to. I've got to be seen to be running a totally honest company. Maybe it's best if we let the traineeships go for the moment. But... but snobs... Is... I'm sorry, Marion. I really am. Maybe Snobs chased the burglar away last night. Maybe that's how we start, with Snobs. Marion's gone off into the bush. He doesn't want to see anyone except Snobs, and he's disappeared again. If I don't solve this, Marion will never forgive me. What are they up to? <coughs> hey, that's my toffee! Spike, wait. What if Safi got through the small space in Gran's window? The same way she did here, with Snobs' help. Well, I don't think they could do that. They've been roaring around together. Maybe Snobs took her to Gran's to get food. And when Safi didn't find food, she took something else. A belt! <coughs> Bill must have whistled Safi. Let's go. Off somewhere with Bill. Where have you been? Researching at the library. Look, thefts in this area over the last year, where police couldn't work out how the burglar got in. And? In the cases I had time to look up, the dates of the break-ins matched the dates the dog show was on nearby. So that means Safi could have done it. More like Bill trains her to do it. Bill saw me wearing Grant's belt. He even said something about it. See? We should check it out. <laughs> Doing, Spike? Can't believe you talked me into this. <laughs> oh, wow. Guess what? I'm calling Constable Stubbs. Are you kidding? We broke into his van. They'll arrest us and say that we planted the stuff. What's the point if we can't say anything? I think I've got an idea. But we'll need Snobs. And Marion. <laughs> There's Bill with Snobs. Lunchtime, Safi. <laughs> Bill's not the only one with a whistle. <laughs> come here. Good boy. Stay. Abby, you've got to get Stubbs to come down here somehow without telling him why. Snobs, find Marion and give this to her. Go, boy. Sam, show him how to do it. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Great. We just need some shots for the end of the news. Some fun images of the dogs doing their tricks. No problem. Great. Let's get set up. Okay. Here we go. They feel me. This is going to be even better. Hurry up, Marion. So what's this about the real thief? 
No way! I don't believe it. You have to trust us, Marion, and you have to get Snobs to help prove it. Quick. Introducing the sensational Safi. Now. Snobs, don't eat the toffee. Put the bag in the tunnel and you'll get a huge treat. OK, so that ready? OK, let's go. Over. That's it, Saf Tunnel. Tunnel, Saf. OK, over. Pop. That's it. OK, seesaw. Seesaw, Saf. That's it. OK, through your house. Quick toilet break. <laughs> OK, through. That's it, Saf. Tunnel. Tunnel. Uh. <laughs> Safi, come on. <laughs> Safi, you can come out now. Steal things. And he let me take the blame. <laughs> it's okay, snobs. Safi will be okay. They'll take good care of her. She didn't know she was doing anything wrong. Well, you better forget everything she taught you, okay? I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. The whole thing was just too good to be true. Help! 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 Good. 